Okay, so I'm just coming up to an area where the water's pushing up against that point and pushing the current out. So there's a little eddy at the back of it in this corner. So I'd expect that there'd be fish there. So I'm nearly out of me psycho shrimp. Don't need a great deal on it, but um, I always find it helps. So according to this, we're in 1.8 metres of water. I've got a 1.8 jig head on, 12 pound leader, 10 pound main braid. And I find that's a really good combination for our 375 paddle sheds or our uh, 3 inch wave prawns. So as I said, I'm going to target this area here because the water's coming around there, which will bring the food and it's swirling back in this area little less current, that's where the bait fish will be and that's where I'd expect to see the predators. So I'll cast in there, let it float down with the current till it hits the bottom and my line will go slack when it does. There it is. And now I've just got to lift it, drop it just like a prawn just to get some attention and it's drifting down with the current, just keep in contact and there's a hit and bang. Just uh, not a big fish, but it's where I expected them to be. Yep, there he is. So just drift it down, present the lure the way the fish would expect it to come, which is down with the current being swept down. Prawns aren't very strong swimmers. So, um, yeah, that's... as easy as it can be sometimes so get asked all the time what's the best what's the best lure for flathead see it on forums nearly every day of the week and everyone's got their personal preferences and so forth i'm going to tell you now if you can't put any lure in front of the fish you're not going to get a bite so the main thing is know where the fish are going to be throw your lure there and you've got your best chance of catching a fish no matter what the lure is then the next part of the uh, equation is how do you present it so that it looks natural and the fish are going to eat it now flathead aren't that fussy but the better presentation you put in there the more chance you've got of catching a fish just let that sink hit the bottom and they'll be expecting it to come back through that area. So right up in the current, then just let it drift down. And let's see if we can pick up another one, because I'd expect there'd be more than one fish in this area. You just try to keep in touch with your lure. There we go, there's another one. There's another one, a bit smaller. And then you can see just here, there's bait fish coming through. Come off there. 